Look at this. Oh, these islands look like they've been circumcised. This is this is this is the most scuffed campaign. Well, that's even worse. Wait, hang on. I like with Denmark. This is a lot less scary than it once was. Hey guys, Leif here. Subscribe now to support my sex change. Bro, I'm not putting that in. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you piss off Poseidon. Or, you know, pollute the atmosphere for a good couple of decades. But anyway, politics and my three-year degree aside, today we're going to see what happens if you play E4 in 1444 with sea levels rendering the UK into, well, the remnants of a child's breakfast, really. Well, firstly, how can you have Venice without, you know, Venice? Of a key part of that. They've done my boy Tunis dirty, but that's, that's fine. The Mamluks, for some reason, just... I don't know, surely there would be settlements around here, like Cairo is just a wasteland apparently. They settled the desert here, but not, you know, the mouth of the Nile. The Ottomans seem fine, which is going to be terrifying in this one. The Caspian and the Aral have just merged, with the Great Horde becoming... Well, it looks like the Netherlands. <laughs> I didn't realize there was a huge hole. In Siberia, Uzbek is now a seafaring nation, lads. Go on. I I think that India would be so much cooler in this timeline. Look, you've got you've got some more islands. The islands always they always make you know amazing cultures. <laughs> God, everything just looks anorexic. Hey, look, look at this. Oh, these islands look like they've been circumcised. I mean, Japan looks absolutely fine. I think are they pretty much. I think they're damn near exactly the same. Um, I think there's sort of a hole here. <laughs> Wait, well, that's where the odor are. The odor got sunk. Oh no. China's, um. Well, China's not looking too hot. All of their really high development provinces got sunk, so. You know, that's a thing. Looking over in the New World, America. I mean, it looks. blessed, really. I mean, there's no. There's no Florida. So, I mean. Eh, maybe this is what the US is trying to do. Maybe they're polluting everything to try and just get rid of Florida. I think we just crack climate change, lads. Also, Denmark is just. Gone. As well as like most of, most of northern Germany. I was I was originally gonna play, I thought, great, sea levels are rising, who do I play as? Obviously the Dutch. But um Yeah, I don't think they built their walls in time, so they're not here. And last time I played like a map mod, I sort of played as Tunis and interfered a bit too much. So I'm gonna be playing as Desmond in the Irish what is that? An archipelago or something. I don't know. Yeah. So I have a nice little island campaign. Mess around in uh the Shannon Strait. <laughs> Let's just see what happens to the rest of the world. Let's get started. Oh, nice. They look, they reworked trade. Oh, that's really well done. Oh, that's good stuff. Looks like Milan is just a pure end node, and so is. Oh, so so Venice. <laughs> Venice and Genoa have just been turned into Florence and Milan. Wait, let's look at the Great Powers first things first. Ming is still on top, but they've taken a hit. England, not even a Great Power. We've got Bahmanis, Muscovy, Castile, Lithuania, Timurids, Ottomans. I mean, yeah, because the Ottomans are basically untouched. The English are just... Well, they've had most of their land sunk. Britain is an island nation. Right, let's uh, take out our first opponent. And immediately hide our navy. Oh, Theodora is like a little island nation as well. Oh, Theodora should become a pirate republic. There's the meta. Play as Theodora, become an island. Blood Crimea so they can't touch you. Build a massive navy and then pirate the Black Sea. Oh god! Brandenburg! Oh Jesus! <laughs> My poor boys! I don't want to get into another siege race with the bloody AI. <laughs> 231 days. That's all it took them. 230 days versus my 506. The AI cheats and anyone who says otherwise is lying to themselves. Well, and there goes our king. And he died in battle technically because he's in charge of a siege. This is, this is, this is the most scuffed campaign. All right, oh, should be the end of that. I'm like 10 minutes into this recording, I'm already tired. Where's Doman over here? Allied with England. That's fun, that's fun. Well, that's even worse. Wait, hang on. Allied with Denmark. This is a lot less scary than it once was. This does not count as an inland sea. I feel like if there ever was an inland sea, it would be the Shannon Straits. But I suppose there's no surrender of Maine because, um, well, Poseidon has Maine now. Can you tell I took a GCSE in classical civilizations? <laughs> Reference the same god twice in one video. <laughs> Mrs. Alistair will be so upset. Allied with England, allied with England, allied with Denmark. And you are allied with both Burgundy and France. Well, that's fun. That's that's good. And you're allied to Castilian Portugal. 
<sighs> this is meant to be a chill campaign. I was meant to just chill, have a good time, enjoy myself, but now we're here. I hate this campaign. I hate this campaign. I hate it. I hate it so much. Well, time to hire mercenaries to deal with some rebels. God, this isn't even about the rest of the world. This is just Lathe can't play you for properly. So how's that one happen then? Uh, quick update, it seems like the Teutonic Order has been taken out <laughs> by the Poles. Novgorod, I mean, they usually start with a good navy, so Novgorod actually might survive. Yeah, yeah, they have. They've already lost the war. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Sorry. wonder if this would have made the uh, the Irish harder to conquer in real life. The Troubles is just a bunch of people just like taking out. Nope, not going to finish that joke. Not going to finish it. Nope, don't do it, Lee. Don't do it. This is not bad. Bad, Lee. If you're half English, do not make jokes about the Troubles. Why would you do that? Seems like the uh, the Renaissance has spawned in the famous portside city of uh, Milan. Wait, there's no Rome? Where the hell is Viterbo? Where's Tunis? <laughs> the nation is called Tunis, but the capital is Beja. And so it begins. <laughs> Good luck, Mamluks. Why, why did they just get rid of all their provinces? I don't understand. Oh, God. What's England doing? Attack against Brittany in the English conquest of Armor. You can't do that. Why are England stronger now that they have half their coastline wiped out? I don't understand. Like, they're just taking out Burgundy. So, the Scots have a much larger navy than me, so I've had to risk bankruptcy and, and, and build two heavy ships. All right then, lads. Here we go. Can only really go well. Oh, I can just go straight through the... <laughs> just go straight through Scotland. Wait, they're trapped. Oh, this could be good. Oh, Jesus. All right, here we go. He's got 95 discipline. Oh, that's lucky. All right. Now that should be... Just please win the siege! It's a weird stalemate between me, the Scots Pretender Rebels, and the Scots. One that I really don't think I can sustain for much longer. I've up to 64 and I've had 22. Okay. So I've taken some provinces off the Scots and annulled their alliances. Not bad for... A couple of thousand men dying. Well, you know, don't tell that to the families. But, you know, in my opinion, really worth it. What? <laughs> so the Hungarians have attacked the Wallachians. The Wallachians being guaranteed by the Ottomans. The so Hungary is trying to conquer another Christian kingdom. And the Muslim Ottomans are defending them. All right. So we can do the English. Wait. Oh, God, it's Edgar's cousin. All right, we are outnumbered by about 6,000 men. But we have a better general. They do have hills. All right, lads, here we go. This is it. Oh, that's what we like to see. The thing is, I'm in England, for sure. But the English Navy is still a thing. And uh, there's a lot of straits here. Why did I not think about this? We take a province off them and... Uh, They'll give us money to help sort out with our debt situation. And yeah, and all the alliances. That sounds pretty good to me. Like that. These seem a little low development for the Ottoman provinces. Oh my god, they, they nerfed the Ottomans. It's so sneaky. Yeah, Hungary has more development than the Ottomans. So that's a bit more one-sided than when it's thirsty. And England's lost all the provinces on the mainland. I really wouldn't have had Hungary pegged as the big winner of all this, to be honest. <laughs> you can't interrupt my recording like that. Because the issue is, the mic doesn't pick you up, so it just sounds like I'm talking to no one. Don't not say anything to make it sound like I'm not talking to anyone. So, uh, unfortunately, it seems like I uh, muted my mic since, like, the first English war, I think, looking back at it. So, uh, a lot has happened since then. I've been, uh, been playing this game a while now. Uh, I just checked the recording just because I wanted to do this. In four miles. <laughs> But I lost, like, quite a lot of footage, including, like, quite significant wars against England, a war fought to stalemate against France. I mean, it was, yeah. Well, let me show you around, at least. Well, firstly, you got the Isles, and I didn't want to conquer them because they're the boys. Um, yeah, I don't know why Castile took just one province off of Morocco. They just did. But that's sort of gone well. 
Naples and Florence have just fought continuous wars over like over and over and over again without really much success on either side. Uh, Novgorod's dead. Denmark, well, as far as I can tell, Denmark, Denmark's, wait, what? Denmark's not dead. They got, they got born home, lads. Ladies and gentlemen, they, they got born home. Um, Theodoro actually like conquered a bunch of stuff. They they didn't do the whole pirate thing, and instead they conquered Caucasia, got into a war with Karakanulu, um, and Karakanulu got into a bit of an issue, and they, they won. It was great to see. Uh, additionally, the Hungarians had a bunch of rebel problems in terms of peasants' war. They lost these two provinces to the Serbians, who then lost them to the Ottomans, leading to Hungarian Bulgaria. Uh, so all these nations actually built navies. So the Caspian Sea's become like an actual hotbed, and we got Transoxiana with heavy ships and everything. Paga Ryung was taking advantage of the situation, <laughs> apparently. Croatia is no longer in a personal union under Hungary, and Silly conquered Croatia. Yeah, that's it. I'm done for the day. All right. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Goodbye.